You two are the perfect people, just passionate about music. That's what we were talking about in the break here. Yeah, and Rick, can you tell us about the Me TV FM and VH1 Save the Music and what's taking place, which is going to be happening actually this Sunday? Yes, this Sunday. Uh, first of all, I wish I was out where John is this morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's having a ball. The this energy is what you is guys great. do every yeah. morning. You know yeah. John, that's how uh, he is through the halls here as well. <laughs> Well, on Sunday, we're going to get a little serious because from 9 to 5, uh, we are teaming up with the VH1 Save the Music Foundation on our first ever live on-air fundraiser. So from 9 to 5, we're going to be raising money. And the great thing about the VH1 Save the Music Foundation is that even though VH1 is a national brand, a national name, the, mu the uh, funds that we raise get directed back to Chicago. So awesome. all the money raised will be coming back to Chicago to your school, your program, and your students. So there are going to be also local Chicago artists that will be there throughout the day. Um, just tell us, how do you hope these efforts make an impact on our children right here in Chicago? Kiel, you want to take that? Sure. Well, we, Dawes School is located on the southwest side, so kind of a working class neighborhood, and a lot of the kids don't have the opportunity to study music. So this partnership with VH1, MeTV Radio, and you guys is really going to make a huge impact on their lives by providing them the instruments and the opportunities that they don't currently have. Kale, what items do you guys need at your school in particular? Well, the dream is to start a concert band, to start a real band, oh, finally, wow. the first time in 40 years at Dawes That's School. Incredible. So wow. trumpets, trombones, clarinets, reeds, you, you get the idea here. Yeah. So, yeah. so I, you're probably thinking, what, That's $15,000 is a realistic goal, or maybe not realistic, but one that could maybe go a long way oh, in yeah. achieving that. Uh, quality instruments will last us 20, 25 years of a, building a yeah. great band program for years to come. And yeah. you're in the front lines as a music teacher with our students, on the front lines with our students. Tell us just why is music so important? I mean, I think it makes sense to a lot of people, but a lot of times it's one of the first things to get cut. Yeah, unfortunately it is, but it really, it gives kids a reason to get up in the morning. Yeah. A lot of my students, I teach general music, and even that, they love it. They want to sing, they want to dance. They want to get up and, and have some passion in their lives beyond the classroom, math and science and reading. Yeah. So it, it gives them life. Rick, what attracted you guys to want to get involved in this? I mean, obviously it's a great cause, but where did you see the correlation where, hey, we can infuse ourselves in this one and really do some great things? Well, you know, MeTV FM listeners have been a really loyal and passionate bunch. They love the music. They love 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s music, which we play. And they've always been... The ratings are showing that, by the way. May <laughs> I mention Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, all because of our listeners. They come out to the uh, fill a bag, fill a bus food drive. Mm -hmm. They always step up when they're asked to. So we figured this would be a great opportunity for the station to give back to the community, the Chicago market, the listeners who make the station as popular as it's become. And the great thing is, even though we're doing the fundraiser on Sunday from 9 to 5, everyone can donate right now. It's very simple. Go to metv.fm. A dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, any amount, it all adds up. It adds up fast. And the great thing is, we've checked into the pricing of instruments, and new instruments all go from 200 to to 300 dollars, basically. So our goal of 15 thousand dollars, if we should get there, and I know we're going to, is going to cover pretty much a whole band's oh, worth I of instruments. It. Yeah, that's well, fantastic. Thank you so much. Listen to Save the Music Sunday from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. Donations can also be made at metv.fm. Let's uh, work together as a community. Let's get these children the instruments that they need. Yeah, can I make a quick request? If I could have Rick narrate my This Is Your Life, uh, <laughs> it would be fantastic man, with, those, with I mean, those pipes, man. But for now, let's kick it over to Carly. She's got a preview of the auction items with MeTV FM's our guy. Bill Cochran, cool as can hey, be over there. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. We are here with Bill. You might know his voice from Me TV FM. He's got Hello. a great voice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so tell us about some of these special items that are up for auction. Well, as Rick said, you know, we want people to give money out of the goodness of their hearts, but we thought we'd up the ante by offering some items that maybe you want to pay a little more money for. All right, so we've got this from Danny Serafin from the original, he's the original drummer for Chicago, right? Right, the band was Saturday have? in the Park in 25, 6 to 4. So Danny autographed a drum head. Uh, and a pair of drumsticks you can see there. Plus, he's uh, no longer with the group Chicago. He's with the band California Transit Authorities. He autographed a shirt and also an instructional video because he is a drummer who teaches other musicians. Very cool. And then Dennis D. Young from Sticks donated well, this. What is this? Here's got the two thing. Two piano keys. Uh, yes, two sets of piano keys. Yeah. Because here, 
we couldn't get a piano uh, a piano autograph by one of these musicians. But we thought, let's get some piano keys yeah. and have them sign it and choose an album to go along with it. So Dennis DeYoung chose the uh, Grand Illusion album from Styx, and Ramsey Lewis signed one That's really with cool. uh, a, rep a replica of his album, The In Crowd. Look at those. That would look so cool in your house or apartment. I'm into that. Family room, Family uh, rec room, room really, all bathroom. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Got to bring okay, my teleprompter here. we got some here. cool guitars over here, too. This is the Ides of March guitar. Ides of March. Jim Peterick of Ides of March fame. Back in, uh, what was it, 1964 or so, a bunch of guys from Berwyn formed a band called it the Ides of March. Uh, Jim Peterick later went on to be in the group Survivor. You remember Eye of the Tiger? Uh, anyway, so Jim and the Ides are back together since 1990 performing in the Chicago area and Jim got all the band members to sign so uh, cool. Bob Berglund, Mike Borch and Larry Millis. And Do it says remember? on there save the music. So save if you buy this you know you saved the music. That's a product placement right there. <laughs> and then this guitar this bass comes from Carl G. Marisi of the Buckinghams another band well all these uh, instrumentalists and uh, musicians are from the Chicago area and that's the whole point. Let's get musicians who are from Chicago who've been through the Chicago school system who know the importance of having uh, mentors, having teachers, people to encourage them. Every one of these musicians I've talked to, uh, we've interviewed them for our uh, broadcast on Sunday, and every one of them talks about there were people in my life who encouraged me, who made it possible for me to make music. And you make a lot of music. I do. You I have a band myself. cover bands all over the city, I right? was inspired by Danny Serafin. Fer uh, take two. Danny <laughs> Serafin's group, Chicago. Back in the day, I was just, I was a trombone player back then. And I just got excited about the kind of music that they made. It was like, I don't have to be doing concert band stuff all the time. Uh, nothing wrong with concert band, Kale. But, you know. <laughs> to be able to play pop music and play this cool jazz rock kind of stuff. Yeah. That inspired me. So for so me, this is like full circle. I got to talk to one of my heroes. Yeah, save the music. It's making dreams come true and Absolutely. you're following your dreams. This is great. All right, Bill, thank you so much. And the MeTV FM auction begins on Friday. So check out MeTV.FM for all the details.